Here we have our model BBC class 48 by 48 vacuum forming machine. This machine has as additional upgrades overhead assist, PLC, and a roll holder. Here we can see the PLC uh, touch screen interface. From here we can uh, set a heat timer. We can activate a heat timer. Up in the uh, left hand top corner you can see the status of the oven. Currently it is turned on. Also from here you can turn your vacuum pump on and off. You can turn your oven on and off. And you can also enter the oven control screen. Here you can see the zone control. We have the option to increase and decrease in increments of 5%. You also have the option to independently go into an individual zone and change that zone percentage to whatever the desired percentage would be. From the screen we can also turn the oven on and off as well. Here we can see the upper and lower table uh, motion control activators. We can control the speed uh, with these actuators uh, with these brass speed control on the left hand side of the valve. Uh, you can loosen them to speed uh, the upward or downward motion and you can tighten them to slow it down. Uh, below that we also have our vacuum release valve to release the vacuum uh, into the vacuum box and draw the plastic down over your mold. Shown here is the upper tooling table for auxiliary tooling. Uh, with the upper tooling table uh, you can uh, use mechanical pinches, uh, you can use plungers, um, you can do uh, inverted tooling. Uh, where you put your vacuum forming tool upside down to take advantage of the plastic sag um, in addition to various other applications. This equipment also features a rear rolled holder uh, for roll stock plastic that can be fed through the rear of the machine. We're going to go through a uh, full step-by-step -step cycle uh, of running the machine. First thing we want to do is make sure that our oven is turned on and preheated for at least 10 minutes. Uh, we also want to make sure that our vacuum pump is turned on. If not uh, using the vacuum pump, if not actively vacuum forming, you want to turn it off. First thing we'll do uh, after we establish that the oven is preheated and we have our vacuum pump uh, turned on is uh, be sure that your vacuum valve is closed. Make sure that you have compressed air going to the machine to activate the upper and lower table. Next thing we'll do is uh, load plastic into the clamping frame. What we're working with today is a 090 uh, ABS plastic. Once we've loaded the material into the frame, uh, we can roll the oven over the top of the plastic to begin the heating cycle.
If we had a, uh, an established heating time at this time, we would activate the timer on the PLC. After we have allowed our plastic to sufficiently cool until rigid, uh, we can close the vacuum valve and lower down the table. And we're ready to start our next cycle.